Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and we're answering publicly posted questions from Avo.com today. And uh, here is our question. Posted on January 21st of 2022 in New York, New York. Uh, can a charge be filed both for retaliation and harassment at the same time in the EEOC, so the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission? I'm involved in an ongoing EEOC harassment matter at work. I would like to know if a charge of retaliation by a person named previously in an ongoing harass harassment matter can also be an original charge of harassment by sex and age. I believe that the act of the person is both a new charge of age harassment and sexual harassment and is also a charge of retaliation. Uh, retaliation to the federal EEOC complaint that was filed that included this individual. Uh, can the one incident be two charges of only, or, or only retaliation? <sighs> okay, so here's what I would say. Um, one, you probably don't want to have multiple charges going at the same time. However, in your charge filed with the EEOC, you can include claims for gender discrimination, which you mentioned, age discrimination, and retaliation. And the underlying event could have been motivated by all of those things, right? So if someone does something nasty to you, and you know in their heart of hearts they don't like your gender, and they don't like your age, and they're also mad at you because you called them out for being discriminatory, and you filed a claim with the EOC, then it is absolutely believable that all three of those things which you know to be true about them, would motivate their negative actions towards you, right? The negative workplace consequence that you're experiencing at the hands of this person. So, yes, um, you could have multiple charges going, but the EEOC is a bit of a, um, well, let's, you know, let's say they're, they're kind of falling apart in, in many of their offices right now. So, if you can keep it, if you can amend your charge and kind of keep things tight for them, and remember, whenever you're dealing with the federal agency, the EEOC, the goal is to do as much of the work for them as you can. Better yet, have your attorneys do as much of the work for them as you can. So, ideally, you'll amend your charge to add these events, to add this additional impact that you've experienced, and you'll link it to the age claim, the gender claim, and the retaliation claim. All three now if you have to give one primacy you know and and ch do your own soul searching make sure you believe this to be true but it would be to your benefit potentially if that was an act of retaliation primarily uh, retaliation claims can be a little bit more valuable and can certainly be a little bit easier to prove because there's a burden shifting of evidence that, that takes place on those claims um, where they meet a certain threshold, right? So um, those retaliation claims can be easier to win, easier to prevail upon in some situations, and can open up a third class of damages, punitive damages, which can be um, more valuable in certain circumstances, okay? I hope this is helpful. I wish you the best of luck with the situation. I hope you're represented. And I will check the comments down below if you have any follow-up questions. Thank you. Take care.